Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for map two here in our King of the Hill, China versus Europe. Today in the China Korea Europe Championship. Map one went to China and Colorful, with Colorful beating Dice. Now Happy stepping into the ring. The big guns come out. And Happy, unconventionally, going either for a fast expansion or it might be a fake expansion with the DK first, of course. Not quite the perfect timing to steal the last hit here on the creep, but still has the option to do so. Oh, he got level 2 anyways, so Happy got a wisp at the start. Small mistake there by Colorful. Happy also lost a scouting acolyte, by the way. But... I think Happy is tricking Colorful here maybe a little bit, but here's the tech. Rarely Happy wants to fast expand in this matchup. Only really on Equiles we see it a lot. Here now, it will still be a tech. And with the narrow possibly sa soon standing here, an expansion could always come at the later point. Keeper though, leveling quickly, as the Keeper so often does. Gonna be level three. I think he's missing one creep, right? Thank you, Akan Plan Digger, with the resub, and also Sir He. He. Jesus. He, Sir He. Yo, four. Bro, that's a tough name. It says, hi. A lot of time here, actually. Thanks. My pleasure. Glad to have you. Oh, and there you see, the Keeper missing just a bit for the level 3. Happy's got it already. Quickly bouncing from camp to camp. Does the loser pick the opponent's strategy? No. That would be pretty crazy. The loser picks the map. Oh, and the Acolyte's level 3. Oh, damn. That's actually a meaningful kill. That means that the Treants might be able to take out the Ziggurat here pretty easy. But here comes the DK. One coil, that's a kill right away. Archer going down, expansion cancelled. Oh, and three Treants do in fact have enough damage. Easily. To take this one out. Big moves by both. Happy trying to save every single ghoul so far. Treants did their job though. And Happy's tier 3 is gonna be delayed. He's got 4 ghouls at home, but not enough lumber at the moment. Oh, Happy's looking for the expansion again, but... There's no way he can cancel it now. Doesn't have enough ghouls. Oh, but he can lock in a surround! Oh, wow. Dude, was that a bait? Was he trying to surround the Keeper the whole time? I wouldn't put it past Happy, because there's no way he could have gotten a cancel. He must have known. Okay, Hapa, that was pretty sick. And we have an Alchemist second, by the way. No Demon Hunter. With tier 3 soon Players arriving. Wait. People in chat keep saying who's gonna replace Blade. Why is Blade gonna get replaced, guys? I haven't heard of this. Is he getting replaced? Is he supposed to get replaced? Why? Oh, here's a creepjack, though. That's one quick kill. Nice item here, by the way, Lionhorn. Are under 
Happy playing very disruptively ever since you got level 3. Transition into fiends here, of course. Happy's trying to squeeze every bit of damage out that he can. And Colorful is uh, having a tough time leveling. In fact... Oh, wait. Lich, though, might be dead here. Oh, the mana for the coil. Oh, Happy getting blocked by the statue! Oh my god, he almost lost the Lich. He's trying to get in range for Entangle. Oh! Dude, that was extremely close. Extremely close. Alright, but now tier 3 is through. We have two fiends, which is not that much, but a lot of ghouls. Every single ghoul survived the early game. Happy keeps the telly staff. Normally he always sells that one, but maybe he's expecting counterattacks, which, judging from Colorful's position, seems pretty likely. Colorful doesn't even have a TP. It seems like he's just going to lose the tree. The ghouls will do a lot of damage. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under Frenzy attack. ready. Web ready. Destroyer form about to be ready. Happy's timing is hitting well. Colorful running on back. Alchemist now at least level 2. Finally, the orb has been given over. Wait, was there only one web? Happy doesn't have frost armor yet, so protecting the fiends is a lot more difficult without that second spell. Alchemist taking a bit of damage, but he's got that arc as well. That one's going to be nice and helpful. Will be needed here in just a moment. And going for the statues as well. The target fire seems to be looking good. The ghouls are completely untouched so far. Fiends and the statues here are the more important units. The shell too. Now we have frost armor. Not gonna be used for that fiend though. Oh, last second coil. Saves the fiend. Now there's a frost armor. Now the alchemist has to be much more careful. The Ankh is gone. A player's forces are under attack. And the ghoul's still very much alive. Oh my god, the fiend survives. Are you kidding me? Can heal on Blight if she wants. Happy buys a mana stone. That's a lot of mana right away. Using it perhaps a bit too early. Not making use of the regen. But that is clutch mana coming in. Colorful has lost a couple of units. Down to 44 supply. Happy still has every single ghoul. Going now for the Tree of Life with this positioning. It seems like repair is impossible. But a flank is doable. Here comes Colorful once more. Thank goodness he has that bonus armor on the Alchemist. Otherwise, he would have been shredded some time ago. Kill one ghoul, finally. Please. Destroyer! Oh, saved last second. Once again, Happy's micro here is looking outstanding. Can Colorful overpower with a two base economy? At the moment, it looks like the answer is no. The Alchemist in trouble as well. Fiends hurt, but always kiting backwards. But now some will fall. That one goes down, albeit denied. And that one falls as well. 
And now it's nighttime again, finally. So we have Moonju's region kicking in. Happy could pass the orb here if he wants. Now that's only the DK and the ledge left for anti-air pretty much. Are under A town is under oh, nice heat scroll. And all of a sudden, Lich finds himself in trouble. In deep trouble. Almost goes down. Out of nowhere, Colorful has a hero kill opportunity, but there's one coil. There's always that one coil. Just barely holding on with it. Colorful's not looking in the worst position, though. There's no statues, there's no fiends. But of course, they are reinforcing. Seems like Happy needs a new big mana potion. Colorful, apparently, still in this. Second Crypt for Happy, though. He could get up to, like, 56 supply very quickly with that. Has three destroyers, by the way. That seems like too many destroyers, actually. And Colorful has some time. Time to creep, time to mine. I thought for sure this expansion was going down, but so far it hasn't. Also seems like Happy should get some upgrades. Of course, a lot of hopes are resting on Happy. The coil is too late! Now the Lich could be in trouble. The Lich getting dispelled from the Destroyer, getting blocked by the Alchemist. Whew. If Happy loses this map, this clan war is almost certainly going to go to China. Colorful. With a Keeper Alchemist, dude. I thought that was not possible anymore. But he might be making it work. Of course, it's still pretty early days. With a double crypt, Happy can still build a big fiend army if he's given some time. A player's forces are under attack. Happy making another ziggurat. Getting ready for perhaps 70 supply. Also around 70 supply is where the Night Elf feels comfortable with mass fairies. And this tournament, man, I'm telling you. Happy is struggling way more than normally we see him struggle. As you guys probably heard or saw, Happy of course won the latest TP League, although it was very close. Oh, destroy here perhaps. Getting caught. All right, colorful. Seems like he's got a good position here. Is it sapper time? Nope. Could catch a fiend here, though. Easy entangle. Happy's gonna give up a fiend. Oh, this could be a second kill right away. TPing home, but too late. Oh, that's two fiends, basically for free. Great exchange for colorful timing here. Definitely on his side. A bit unlucky for Happy. The two fiends of his happen to run into the opponent. Got the creep, which was Scroll of the Beast. That could be actually really good. But it's not that many fiends, dude. It's four fiends. That's not that much. Colorful with an opportunity here to get big points. Happy the god of kiting and the god of micro. 
Can he do it against these superior numbers? One fiend already goes down. That means only three are left. Heal scroll used. Destroyers can't do much. They're mostly watching from the sidelines. DK has to use his coils, of course, one after the next. The ghouls are actually putting in some good damage in the meantime. But the Death Knight's mana is dropping lower and lower. Statue is forced to back off because of the mana flare. Lich now at level 4. Happy is kiting away in every direction that he can. He's finding some kills. Supply still pretty even. Level 5 on the DK. He's going to go for the coil, not the aura. Which is not surprising. One destroyer falls, but Happy doesn't care about the destroyers that much. Coil flies, the fiend is saved, there's a bit more web, but mana's low. Mana's indeed very low. Let's just to get to the shop, get the invuln, and use it. Oh, the statue goes down to the fairy dragon. Small mistake by Happy, but of course understandable in the heat of the battle. One more kill, let's getting closer to level 5. Supply dead even, bad news for Colorful, but he can rebuild more quickly. So a bunch of ghouls in the mix. Ring plus five on the Lich. Honestly, could actually be kind of good against the Acid Bomb. Double level five here is now for Happy. This is where the nuke becomes very dangerous. There's a Fiend in Happy's main base. Still a good amount of mining left, more than three minutes. Caliphus looking for free pickoffs again. Would love to catch two fiends once more. Oh, there! <laughs> this is the same situation again. Lol. Gets another one for free. Again, a lucky find. Fighting in the main base, normally not advised. And Caliphus will not try. He's gonna back off. Use the TP. The more Fiend Happy gets, the more it's looking good for him in the air uh, in the air against ground fight, I should say. Remember, last time he had four fiends when the fight erupted. Now it's gonna be six with this one joining. Mana also a very important factor. And the DK doesn't have that much. It's got three coils right now, more or less. Oh, he's starting to nuke the Keeper right away. Coil Nova is dangerous. In we go. First Coil flies defensively onto the Fiend. That one goes down. Acid Bomb here doing a good job. Oh, and the statues as well. Suffering quite a bit. Next Coil used. But now the web's quickly leading to kills. The Fairy Dragons, once they're down to the ground, you can see they're getting taken out by the Fiends and Ghouls rather quickly. Happy spreading out as much as he can, kiting away against the air units. The web is keeping the fairies controlled in the meantime. Keeper adding in some treants, but there's still destroyers helping out in the meanwhile. Quite a few of them. Two is a good amount for the late game. Oh, there was some trouble right there. Wait. He tried to pass an item. Invul potion given over to the Lich. He gave over the ring to give over the invul. Very close. And Colorful has a huge supply lead. Enormous supply lead for Colorful here. Happy with the heal scroll. Trying to bring all the forces together. Colorful lost like nothing. Heal scroll used now. Keeper's coming back. Going after the Lich again and again. Reminds us of Foggy in days of old. Destroyer goes down. There must be a level... Up nearby, yeah, Caliph is close to double level up. Happy DK level 6. No mana at the moment, though. The Lich still in trouble. Colorful, this would be a huge point for him. A huge point for China. If Happy again does not score. And that's level 5. Oh, trying with the Coil Nova, though. Happy eats a fiend. Want to get the mana up. 
Couldn't you have called Novart? That was close as well. Happy again rebuilding. Unsummoning here as well. Colorful down to 63. Seems like Colorful has the lead here. Healthy on the heroes. Oh, they're just getting punished for his position, but there's a destroyer. But there's a ton of entangles. The keeper has so much mana. Unlike Happy. This is the last army for Happy. Colorful, apparently close to the 2-0. Beating Happy on the counter map pick would be quite something. Happy's trying to go for the keeper kill, but there's potions. It's not gonna happen. Happy looking desperate. Looking quite desperate here. And Lich, very hurt. Invo potion, last second transfer. Big points. Big points for China. That was the last coil for a long time. Lich level 6, but it doesn't do much. This ultimate not useful in this situation. Colorful getting revenge after how many series where Colorful was getting destroyed by Happy. Today it is him who is doing the destruction. Level 5 Alchemist as well. He doesn't have much mana, but the Keeper does. Happy's trying to bait Colorful to overextend. But this is it. Three Fiends, one Statue, one Destroyer. That's all. Happy buys a mana potion. That's the only thing he can do, I suppose. And summoning more. Of course, we all know you must never count out happy. But this is looking amazing. This is looking amazing for Colorful. Keeps mining and mining. Nighttime now over. Moonju's now gonna be stressed. Throw out a bunch of Novas. He's got lots of int, lots of regen. It's the fiend going down. It's two fiends falling. And now Happy can forget about anti air. Happy's desperately trying to go for a hero kill, but of course, Colorful knows that this is the biggest concern here. Colorful does not want to risk anything. He has lost too many times against Happy. He doesn't want today to be another occurrence. Heal pot's very important for the keeper. Colorful has double the supply of the opponent here. He's still trying with kiting, trying with the strength of the heroes and the statues. And he's hoping for the keeper to overextend at some point. One 
one more coil for the lich. There's always that one coil. But now, the next coil is far away. Now going for the DK. Level 3 entangle. Might that be enough? Couple right clicks from the alchemist. And he falls. And Happy has to give it up. GG. Colorful takes map number 2. Beats Dice and beats Happy. Zero points for Happy, the highest rated ELO player in the world, the champion of TP League. For whatever reason, in this tournament, has way more difficulty than in all the others. One of the big reasons was Terran Stand, but today it wasn't even Terran Stand, it was Happy's map pick, it was Tidehunters. With Colorful busting out the Keeper the first time in the long time. And it was a very well played game for most of for most of it on both sides. Important points for China.